Well, today is the final stone in the pillar of service in the Keys to Power series. It's been a long pillar building, skipped some days, but here we go. Stone number one was that service was active. Stone number two was that service was giving. Stone number three was that service was receiving. Stone number four was that service was public. And stone number five was that service was private. And yesterday we did stone six, which was service was selfless. Today is gonna sound a little strange, and this is simple. Service is also selfish. Number seven, service is selfish. Now, I don't mean your motivation for giving service is or should be selfish, but at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, there is a God, there is karma, there is reciprocity and return. And so while we may not intend in any way to have our service recompensed, it does come back to us, sometimes in ways we cannot imagine sometimes in ways we cannot conceive at the beginning. Now, there's several ways this happens. Number one, when you embark on a life and an approach to life of service, you change, you transform, you become a person that is different because of that. And that by itself creates something more powerful. And this, of course, is keys to power. And the last thing is those services, regardless of how selfless they are, when you do them and how pure your motivation is, come back to you in blessing, in honor, and in power. So without any negativity associated with it, stone number seven in the pillar of service, service is selfish.